freedom fight of Kusar. And he is a, a citizen from the Kusar traditional area and from Tishi in the Zabila district or the Bokuwa district. I must say that he is a, a lawyer by profession. And of course, the first Kusar's lawyer. He's the first Kusar's lawyer we have ever had. He was a member of the Consultative Assembly that gave birth to the 1992 Constitution and became the first MP for the Zabila Constitution. Right? Then he also became the Upper East Regional Minister during the final of the Rollins of Blessed Memory Time from 1995 to 1997. Then also he again became the Minister of Science and Technology, Science, Environment and Technology. That was from 1998 to 1999. Then in the year 2000 and 2010, saw him at the Ministry of Interior, where he headed that minister at the Ministry of Interior. Right? Then in 2010 to 2013, he was the majority leader in Parliament. I'm talking about somebody, a personality who holds an executive master degree in conflict, peace, and security from the Kofi Annan International Training Center. I present to you our veteran politician, our legend, our pioneer on the struggle, Honorable Avoka Kilutu. Moses Abnori, who is co chairing from uh, Ilava, the son of my constituency, my colleague members of parliament, the patron of the uh, National Union of Kusasi students, Kusasi students from various countries, troops who are here, our brothers and sisters from other ethnic groups outside Kusau, students, distinguished ladies. Ladies and gentlemen, honorable members, ladies and gentlemen, distinguished guests, ladies and gentlemen. Um, before I begin my speech, the time now is uh, 1.30 or there about, 1.32. Let me just use two minutes to add one or two things to what the able speaker by a very junior brother John Cole has said. What he spent an hour trying to explain it's about leadership, it's about patriotism, it's about sacrifice, it's about human feeling. These are very attributes of life. If you don't have any of them, then you have to do so search. Let me just give three examples of this, life examples, so that you reflect and adopt. One. When I went to Nabongo Secondary School in 1965, myself and Honorable John de Bourret and others, in 1965 we passed formal entrance. And even that time it was a pride to pass formal entrance. So in the whole of the middle school, about 10 or 40 of you will write, and only two or three will pass. So it was a pride. At the, at the assembly, they were now going to a part for Nabongo, or Ku, or Miss Second, and the rest of them. So in 1965 we went to the school. Now, in Nabongo Secondary School, uh, I'm very happy to acknowledge the presence of my very junior brother, Fatmas. Uh, he was my junior in the Broken School. So, what I'm going to say is this for today. In the Broken Center School, sometimes at the weekends, they have what they call tribal dancing and singing. Tribal dancing and singing. And listen to this very carefully because it will be a prelude to what I'm going to talk later. So, if you came to that time, they will say, now Brongo boys and girls, in fact, casino boys and girls, they are from the Brongo. Casino boys and girls will come and dance, and they will come and dance. They will say, Frafra boys, they don't say Balkatanga boys, so Frafra boys will come and dance. 
Then they will say the Gati boys and girls. Then they will come and dance. They will say the Gumbo boys and girls and they will come and dance. And when they come to our area, they say Boku boys and girls. You know what? You know what? Is it people who dance or a town that dance? <laughs> that is, move this very well. Everywhere, casino boys and girls, trapper boys and girls, the country boys and girls. But when it comes to our place, Boku boys and girls. <laughs> no Kusase boys and girls or Bisa boys and girls, no. So we waited. Then when we were confined, I became trapper heads and we were classmates. So when they told the headmaster, man, told them, look, my brother, we are not Boku boys again. Boku has no dance. It is a, a tribe that has a dance. So if you don't call Kusasu boys again, we won't dance again. That's all. Right. So, we told him. And my brother said, yes, he was the one that said, yes, we are right. So he gave me money, and I'm good. I was saying, we are not going to go to the country. So I'm going to go, and we were first. We danced, we danced again, guys. In fact, that was where I learned how to dance Bisa, you know, sing Bisa songs and dance Bisa dance. Junior Moro, Bisa Mulai, Koko Saba. Junior Moro, Bisa Mulai, Koko Saba. We were united. We would dance Joe, dance Buddha, and dance Bisa. And we were first. That's in 70. That's number one. Number two. That's in 78. I was in the final year in the law law school. I got my LLB in 76, my BS in 78. I was in the final year in the law school. Then, then headmaster on focus and school, uh, Robert Ajero, those of you who are broke will remember him. Robert Ajero came to Lebanon. And then me and Martin Amu, we were classmates in the, in the law school. I said, look, you Kusasi boys and women, if you don't come, you grab those from Kusa. If you don't come back to Boko and teach your brothers and sisters and allow them to be taught for the process and especially from Winneba, they will never go to university like you have done. Mm. I don't say it. So when we qualified as lawyers, and we were first that me and Mark we were posted to Academy General Department to so do national service, he said no, we are going to teach in Boko Center School. Ladies and gentlemen, I had not been to Trader College before. Meaning from two, I left for Sunday school. Four level 1970, then University of Ghana, then law and law. I didn't go to Trader College. But out of patriotism, me and Martin opted to go and teach our junior brothers and sisters so that they can qualify for O level and A level. Out I'm not a professional teacher, even after today. So we want to teach them. It could take people like Solomon Amini, former best of William Brown Manager, take Joshua Panada from Musica, and many others. We taught them, and all of them, many of them passed to go to the university. Every time we were teaching, they came to watch, stand by the window and said, hey, visiting teacher, visiting lecturers. At that time, they were calling me and Mark Amini, visiting lecturers. But we are appreciative of what we were doing. How many of you today will live here? And then, as a doctor or as a lawyer, and they say go to several hospitals, go to even, uh, or, or, uh, let's say, uh, Kamu or Bangkatanga, you won't go. Wow. There's no money there. I can't get local, etc., etc. Where is the patriotism? Who should treat your mother and your father to survive? Uh -huh. Who should treat your sister, your brother, to be able to come up to you? That is the challenge that you are facing now. And finally, that is, so when I talk about that, so that is patriotism. Sacrifice, like you said, leadership, sacrifice, patriotism, very, very critical for, your, for, your, for yourself and your people. And in 1979, while I was teaching in Boko Senior School, uh, I was doing the ARC, Armed Forces Revolutionary Council, when Rawlings and Peter Tassero came to the scene, and they said you are having a house building exercise for three months to push the top echelon of the military whom they, 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 they thought were corrupt and has called the name of the armed forces. I was in Boko School teaching them. Then, we the Kusasi youth are now going to talk about sacrifice and service to your people. That's the point I'm going to raise. I was teaching them with Peter Haruna from Binduri. 
Then we said, they heard that brothers were coming to work in the community centre. I was the revolutionary council, which people feared so much. So we decided that, look, it's after you left the demonstration. Let them really know that there's a chief problem in there. The black cars were ready in my hall. We walked inside this hall. We said, we don't hate non police but we hate non police rule. No domestic colonialism in Ghana. No apartheid again in Ghana and the rest of the world. So we Tonight, August, September. Then we met at this Akarabia's house when the helicopter was about to was over it. We met. This Akarabia is for a quarter, for a quarter. Then we met there, and they said, "Look, let us when a lawyer there, you shouldn't take part in the demonstration because we know we are arrested. So when they arrest you, you can defend us in court." <laughs> Because whether we like or not, they will be arrested. So they will have none of their best counsel. They will get the lawyer. So I should stay away and hide. After they are arrested, they may appear as a lawyer to defend them. <laughs> that was done for the reason. Look, ladies and gentlemen. Barati, look at this. You are a lawyer. 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 You are a we were left with some few people. And we said, no, we didn't want any to take part in the demonstration. We have written placards. We want them to hold the placards correctly. We're going to put an image there. We might turn it upside down. <laughs> and this is what we said, people are not serious. You have a demonstration, you don't even know how to hold the placards. And you are the man the integrity of the demonstration. Yes. That's what we said. So we said, everything the people to hold the placards. When it became crisis, so they are going to say, when you feel alive? Then late this year, Congo, or who's that? Then Mambila, who are Okuna Secretary, his son is now lawyer, uh, Maxwell, Mambila Azilia, and a few others. So I was compelled to leave them. Well, I'm telling you. So I, I took the lead, and then they were following me. When we went to the police station, the police were very excited and were very support, said, Yes, you people are right. Then you come. The police were begging the people, left and right. You people are right. Then you come. The police came to wait that to create community center. Mm -hmm. I always have to wait to like my colleagues here. That to make a placard of Okaru tap 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 if you didn't say that, so you might go to my own molesting or your own teaching. So give him VIP treatment. So tonight, look, I didn't know how to ride a motor at the time. I didn't even have a bicycle. So I'm going to say, oh, I'm going to go to the city. I'm going to go to the city. I'm going to go to the city. When I got there, you was in the room. I'm going to go to the city. I'm going to go to the city. I'm going to go to the city. I'm going so, when I was coming up, the present chief called me, me and him went and talked to the father. He's room, 1979. But when you have on the part of these groups, they will look at you painfully. Who is this young man who has come here? What has he come to do? And I'm not about to leave our community center. Then, when was when was Tom said, Ah, but where are the members? Then, one minute, what could have a second? Late, probably he's late now. I said, He's standing back there, that one minute. He said, There are people under the tree there. Then he said, Where are the people? Oh, the Ronald nodded his head like this. I said, But who was who, who was talking when I mentioned that where are the people? One minute, I said, we come here from Bambi. We have a tour Morocco, the Amara of Israel. So when an AK 47, when I said, you want to kill you, I said, I'm not going to be good. I was there. How many of you here can be good? And hold up. In defense of your people or in the liberation of your people, how many? You have made sacrifices. That is what you want to talk about. Sacrifice for the people. 
Be a leader. Lead yourself as a leader. Thank you very much.